action. I want to see some dudes having fun. That's the whole point of this scene. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low-stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. You're racing your friends, enjoying the countryside and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills. So beat these guys and make me proud. Yeah, but watch it. That path is gonna be quite the roller coaster, with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. Unbelievable. You're a terminal crazy. That scene's gonna be another killer. You're cool, director. The scene ain't over. Right, 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 right. The mechanic has a point. Driver, stay in character. These pictures look phenomenal. That vehicle's a beast. Any technical word from our sassy car expert, maybe? You got it. So, driver, as you noticed, we decided to go wild and bold for this scene with the Aerial Nomad buggy. The Nomad will serve two purposes here. First, it should get you through these hills and rivers without too much difficulty. And second, it has that edgy weapon look our director was looking for. Absolutely. I wanted the aesthetics of this scene to be kind of a tribute to those mad post-apocalyptic movies. Through the hotel, because these guys don't give a damn. The last section of this race. Give me everything. Almost there. Wait for it. good action movie without a bit of a love story, right? That's the side Rick wants to explore in this next scene. This time, it's all about finding the right atmosphere. down for a moment and going for a smooth evening ride.
drill. This is our big money shot right now. Three takes, three different stun configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for this scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. Catch your breath. You're gonna lap around while we rearrange the props. Take two. How do you feel behind the wheel of this beauty? She's the first model of the Shelby GT500 lineup. Its lines, exemplary road holding, great performance, and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things. So you know the drill. This is our big money shot right now. Three takes, three different stun configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. Kai got you the best possible car again for this scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. Catch your breath. You're gonna lap around while we rearrange the props. Take two. How do you feel behind the wheel of this beauty? She's the first model of the Shelby GT500 lineup. Its lines, exemplary road holding, great performance, and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things.
make this happen, people. Come on, third try, give it everything. Don't worry about the car. Whoa, 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 you're gonna chill out now. Ruining the car isn't part of the deal. I don't care. Man, anything happens to that car, and I'll make your life a nightmare. Okay. That's it, you're going in one last time. 